new like um no the Hey guys, what's up? Welcome to my channel. Today's video, I wanted to do an anti-haul. I freaking love anti-hauls. I think it's really cool to sit down and talk about products that I don't want to buy and give you guys some reasons why. So maybe this will either help you in decision making when it comes to buying something or maybe you're feeling the same way and maybe I just want to rant about makeup. I love these videos and I wanted to sit down and film one because it's been quite a while. So yeah, let's just jump into today's anti-haul. So the first product that I am never going to spend my money on is the $80 Hourglass Ambient Highlighting Palette. Um, let me just, let me just say, the highlighter that I'm wearing on my cheeks right now, I'm pretty sure was a drugstore highlighter. So, that being said, uh, this was, I believe, at most $10, depending on where it is that you live, where it is that you're doing your shopping from. So when it comes to highlighter palettes, I'm willing to purchase them. In fact, I love like my ColourPop in Nudendo one that was $18 and I don't use every shade in it. And most of the time for a highlighting palette, you aren't going to be using every single shade. So maybe in the future I would buy a single highlighter from Hourglass, but the fact that the whole palette, it's $80 and there's most likely going to be shades that I personally can't use just due to my skin tone. Um, no. <laughs> no. So the next product that I wanted to talk to you guys about was the Anastasia Beverly Hills Sultry Palette. And I know that I'm not the only one who's mentioned the fact that they don't want to purchase this, but what is this? Uh, when I think of eyeshadow palettes, no matter if it has like bright colors or dark colors or neutrals or cool tones and warm tones, like when I think of an eyeshadow palette, I want it to be cohesive. I want to be able to look at it and at least come to a conclusion of a cohesive look that I can create from the palette. But I look at this one and I just don't see a theme. I don't see something that's cohesive that I can create on my eyes that would justify purchasing this. But it's like I have every shade basically in other palettes and there's like one pop of color in it but it's not even like a sultry color so I just don't get this palette. So moving along I want to talk to you guys about the Natasha Denona eyeshadow palettes. Why are you so expensive? Seriously though, I honestly just have like a legitimate question. As consumers, can you guys justify the price point of a Natasha Denona eyeshadow palette? Like I'm talking like the actual full palettes that retail for like $120 or more. Is that something that you guys like actually will spend your money on? Like I hear that the quality is great, but you know what else is great? e.l.f. eyeshadows for $10, um, Colourpop for like $15 to $20, Juvia's Place, which is highly pigmented, stunning colors, unique colors just all around. They are phenomenal and they are $20, but Natasha Denona has the audacity, <laughs> audacity, to charge $120 or more on an eyeshadow palette. And if that I, I don't care how pretty it looks. And to be quite frank with you, I think that a lot of her stuff is rather boring, like stuff that I can truly dupe with the palettes that I own. And I just, it hurts. Like it hurts, like it hurts so bad that I wouldn't ask for this for a Christmas gift. Like it's, I don't want anyone else to spend their money on this palette because I just don't see how it could be justifiable. So please, please consumers, educate me on this. Are you buying these? Oh, Kylie Cosmetics, you've done it again. You've created another collection. Again. That's kind of my beef when it comes to Kylie Cosmetics. I will save my other thoughts for another video because I'm thinking of doing like a brands that I don't purchase from kind of video and explaining why. Halloween palette, like the whole Halloween collection, just like days, it feels like days after she just launched her previous collection with her best friend. So that's kind of one reason where I'm just like not interested in this whatsoever. But second of all, her prices have gone up outrageously. I don't own anything from her, um, but I do know that her stuff's really expensive for what it is. Like, I'm just going to put that out there. Half the time, it seems like the quality of these isn't even consistent, and it's just overpriced, in my opinion. You're paying for her name, and if you are okay with that, then pay for the Kylie Cosmetics, but truth be told, you can get the same quality, if not better, 
within other companies. So I'm sure a lot of you guys know that and you just don't care. But second of all, I just don't find anything rather exciting about the collection itself. Like it just kind of seems redundant when you're just constantly coming out with new collections. It almost looks like it all kind of bleeds into each other and it's just different packaging. Um, the colors in the palette are just nothing that we've never seen before. It's it doesn't even really scream like Halloween for me. Like when I think Halloween, I think like FX makeup or I don't know, like just a little things that are like out more outside of the box. And I just feel like this was just a way to get makeup out, get another collection out as soon as possible. And as a consumer, I just don't like when I see brands trying to pump as much stuff as they possibly can. Moving on to my next one, this one. <sighs> So I'm sure you guys have heard of the new like Cherry Naked collection from Urban Decay and I have very mixed feelings on the palette so I didn't necessarily want to put the palette in here itself like the eyeshadow palette but I did want to put the blush highlight kind of like bronzer palette. Yeah it's highlight and blush palette that's what it's called. And um, first of all I don't understand really why this coincides with the like black cherry or like the cherry theme. Um, it, it seems like it's solely just the packaging and it's just like thrown in as part of the collection. So again, not necessary. But two, I just don't, like nothing's screaming at me. And for like $36, again, I'm going to compare this to, to drugstores because drugstore companies now are stepping up the game. And I don't need to spend $36 on a highlighter and a blush palette when I could go get a blush from like Wet n Wild or a highlighter from Wet n Wild that's literally like five dollars. And then the other thing about the collection is there's the setting spray. So they are famous for their all nighter setting spray, which I've tried before, and I don't even know if setting sprays honestly like really work. Is it a myth? Is it a lie? Is it real? I still continue to douse my face in setting spray and just tell myself that it does. But um, their setting their setting spray is really expensive. You can get again the Milani and make it last setting spray. I've been using that one and I do like it. Morphe, dare I say, I know that's a controversial brand, but they just released like a new one. It's the same formula, it's the same thing, but this one smells like cherries, I think. I think that that's the difference. And to be honest with you, I hate the smell of cherries. It's personal preference. I think it smells like medicine and it's just not yummy. And I just don't want to be spraying my face with cherry scented things. So the next thing that is on the list is the new Lime Crime like celebration of like their 10 years in business or something like that, even though they kind of fell off the face of the earth for like a good five years and now they're back. Anyway, again, that's kind of a part of another video that I want to talk about, but talking about this specific collection, this is like their 10 year collection, I think, and it is, can we guess it? Can we all put in our predictions before I'm about to say this out of my mouth? Um, it's another rainbow and unicorn palettes collection of things. If this is your thing, that's fine. I Again, this is a genuine con like conversation I want to have with you guys. Do you guys feel the same way when it comes to like this unicorn thing? Do you feel as if it's overdone or are you guys asking for more? Like I just genuinely want to know because I feel like this was cool in like 2013 and it just keeps coming up. I feel like every year there's going to be another brand that does another unicorn theme. And like again, like if that's your thing, then that's fine. But it's just not mine and I just feel like it's so overdone. Like really? Like a, a rainbow and unicorn collection in like the fall that's coming like why it's just been done before I feel like it's just a fad and I'm kind of over it and whenever I see that that's the theme of products like I just don't even want it like Too Faced has done it Tarte has done it I'm pretty sure like Wet n Wild's done it I just feel like it's been so freaking overdone and there's just no need for that in my life okay um last but not least to be honest with you I haven't really done my research on this so I probably getting it wrong. I, I don't know. But what is this? I feel like this is sold on like adamandeve.com. I feel like this is sold at uh, it's just it doesn't look like it's a makeup product. Um apparently there are like these things that are going around. I've noticed that it's kind of trending and you like roll these balls on your face. And it's supposed to like help with wrinkles or like help with your skin. Um, I'm fine with just moisturizing my skin. I think it's doing fine. Um, and so I just what 
what is that and why and I, I haven't even checked the price I just saw it and I was just like this looks expensive like it just looks like it would be like $70 or more for something you roll on your face uh, but why like is this clinically proven to like eliminate everything from your face is like is this eliminating the age aging process like why why do I need to add this to my skincare routine like what is this? All right, you guys, so I think that that's gonna complete today's anti-haul. I'm, I think I'm anti-hauled out. There's a lot of other stuff out right now, but with all these releases this time of year, like it's almost freaking overwhelming. It is overwhelming to sit down and talk about all of it. So I'm sure I will do another one of these in the future, especially just because I feel like so much is coming out for the holidays and I just, I just feel like I'm gonna have a bone to pick with other products that are becoming out. So if you guys like anti-hauls, don't forget to give the video um, a thumbs up because it helps me out. And subscribe. If you guys are not subscribed already, I would truly appreciate that. And yeah, I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.